Hi, it's Heather with Across the Fence Farm, bringing you some gardening, homesteading, sustainability tips for today around saving your own seed and sharing those seeds. By the end of this, you will get some really good suggestions for how you can keep heirloom plants alive and thriving i.e. available not so much in your garden it can be in your garden but to keep those heirloom seeds in circulation so let's get started it's amazing to me how many tools it takes to simply divide up some garden seeds and I have, look at this, we've got scissors, we've got clear tape, we have scrap paper, we have spoon, pen, and then these are the containers that I had the dried prepared seeds stored in until I could get to this step, which is sharing the lion's share of those seeds with my public library's seed library. If you don't have one of these seed libraries at your local public library, get on it. It's amazing. You can donate our guidelines anyway, no GMO. Thank you very much. Seeds and you have them all ready to go and We've got them, quote, cataloged in these plastic bags with information about the seeds themselves, when they were harvested, what's the variety of the plant, what's the particular, uh, of course, the name of the plant, like Swiss chard or green Swiss chard, which I have here. Anyhow, and then uh, a packet of the seed. I've kept some for myself. So here's what I divided up today. I have red Swiss chard. I have collard greens. And I have purple sprouting broccoli. If you aren't turned on to purple sprouting broccoli yet, you need to be because it's an amazing amazing garden plant and then some green swiss chard so that's what i'm giving to our local seed library in our public library and pretty darn fun to be able to share these with folks so how it works is Folks come into the library and, quote, check out seeds out of our physical card catalog. It's an old, beautiful oak card catalog from a library sometime, who knows when. And so they're just cataloged i.e. sorted alphabetically and then there are little seed packs similar to these small envelopes that uh, you just note okay I'm getting some green Swiss chard and you know you take a few seeds uh, and then you go up to the checkout desk and just say here's what I've got and then what that does is it just helps us at the library track how many people are using it and getting those circulation counts and so on. Anyhow, pretty darn fun and what a great way to share your bounty of seeds and even gardening tips because on this form it asks for the seed provider to offer any growing tips. I also like to put a little bit of food slash cooking tips, if that's applicable, like with the chard and the collard greens both, 
uh, made a note that the larger leaves are great for wraps. With the collards, man, those leaves can get so big. You want to, I like to anyway, I like to steam them just until they wilt. Then they are pliable and ready to receive your sandwich filling or burrito type filling, whatever you want to put in them. So that's the fun today. And then I have plenty of seed for myself. So there you go. And the heirloom, this is really important. The seed saving is really vital when it comes to heirloom plants because those heirloom plants, as the name implies, they come from a long line of being grown and those varieties tend to be more hardy, uh, easier to grow, and also their deliciousness too of whatever it is that the plant is providing, whether it's tomatoes or uh, you know, salad green or a cucumber or corn, what have you. So if you do believe in keeping these really vibrant varieties alive, then do save, save those seeds from plants that you grow from heirloom varieties and make sure you share them so that they have a continuing life on the planet here and that's the tip for today one of the tips and the emphasis i put